Welcome to another Faith Clinic podcast with me, Evangelist Terry Brunson. Thank you for the time you are taking to listen to this podcast. I pray that you will become a faithful listener. It seems we live in a time where it is easy to throw our voice over the airwaves and have the world tune in to what we are trying to say. Our topic is a subject that falls on deaf ears. But I am commissioned to preach this message. I have been anointed and appointed by 1 John 2 verse 20 and 1 John 2 verse 27. 1 John 2 verse 20, But you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. 1 John 2 verse 27, But the anointing which you have received of him abides in you, and you need not that any man teaches you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it is taught you, you shall abide in him. The topic is the alphabet of God. The alphabet of God. Let's read 1 Revelation 1 verse 8 in a quick scan. I am the Alpha and the Omega, Seth. The Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. It is a revelation of Christology to see Jesus as the alphabet of God. In the Greek alphabet, Alpha and Omega are the first and last letters that give a revelation of Jesus in being the Alpha in the beginning and Omega in the ending. It is like saying that Jesus is a through-o of God's alphabet. There is no God-thought and idea apart from Jesus being Alpha and Omega and all the other letters in between in God's alphabet. It's God as Jesus who came off the heavenly throne to come to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross our debt to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to life, to return on high is Jesus the alphabet of God. Certain letters mean certain things. If I say to you NBC, ABC, CBS, you'd know that I'm speaking about television networks. If I say FBI, CIA, KGB, or IRS, I'm talking about government intelligence agencies because those letters reflect that with certainty. If you hear the letter configurations NBA, NFL, MLB, you'd know that's big league sports being spoken of because of what those letters reflect. If you hear the letter configuration of AT&T or ITT, these letters reflect telecommunications. What about if you hear the letter configuration of Kajik or SDA, these letters reflect a speaking of religious organizations because certain letters mean certain things. So it is with the letter configuration of Alpha and Omega. These letters represent the complete revelation of God in Jesus in certainty. Revelation 22 verse 13 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning to the ending. There is no room to assume who the Alpha and Omega alphabet person is. It's Jesus, expressing himself as the beginning and ending in an alphabetized form. In the Greek alphabet, Jesus is Alpha and Jesus is Omega to express Jesus in a superlative wonder as the starter and finisher of redemption in saving the human soul. You may have seen these two Greek letters, Alpha and Omega, and wondered what they mean. They mean what Revelation 22 verse 13 says. The Alpha and Omega is the complete revelation of God by Jesus Christ in certainty, a message of the first and the last, the beginning to the ultimate ending of victory. Since we speak English, we can alphabetize Jesus also A through Z. A Genesis 17 1 Jesus is an Almighty God. B Luke 1 68 Jesus is a blessed God. C 1 Peter 5 7 Jesus is a caring God. D. Daniel 3 colon 15, Jesus is a delivering God. E. Deuteronomy 33 colon 27, Jesus is an eternal God. F. 1 Corinthians 10 colon 13, Jesus is a faithful God. G. Titus 2 colon 13, Jesus is a great God. H. Leviticus 19 verse 2 and 1 Peter 1 colon 16, a holy God. I. Job 32 to 8, an inspirational God. J. Exodus 20 colon 4, a jealous God. K. Psalm 17 colon 8, he's a keeping God. L. 1 John 4 colon 8, Jesus is a loving God. M. Isaiah 9 colon 6, a mighty God. N. James 4 colon 8, an eye God. O. Matthew 28 colon 18, an omnipotent God. P. Philippians 1 colon 6, a performing God. Q. 1 Timothy 6 colon 13, a quickening God. R. Nehemiah 9 colon 17, a ready God. S.I. Timothy 1 colon 15, Jesus is a sinner saving God. T. 1 John 5 colon 20, Jesus is the true God. U. Exodus 3 colon 14, the unlimited God. 
V1 Thessalonians 5 colon 23 Verily God. W John 5 colon 17 Jesus is a working God. X2 Chronicles 16 colon 9 The eyes of the Lord are everywhere in being an X-ray God. Y Matthew 27 colon 50 He's a yielding God. Z John 2 colon 17 Jesus is a zealous God. Jesus our true God makes all others are false, John 17 verse 3 Jesus our living God makes all others dead, 1 Timothy 4 verse 10 Jesus our only wise God means all other gods, ain't got no sense, Jude 25. Jesus as the alphabet of God is expressed alphabetically in the word of God. Jesus Alpha and Omega. Of life. Life eternal by faith in Jesus gave the new quality of life. Hebrews 5 verse 9. And being made perfect, Jesus, became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. The condition of eternal life in Jesus comes with a promise based on obeying Jesus in love. Adam lost an eternal quality of life dealing with the devil who led him to sin. Sin marred life's joy in the connection Adam had with God. This is the life Jesus came to restore. Death marred Adam's quality of life and he was stripped of immortality in living forever. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life in Jesus. Can you see what Adam lost? He lost life eternal by sin. But he gained by Jesus restored life in Christ. This is not automatic. You have to faith your way to life everlasting life in Jesus. Everyone is addicted to eternal, but they are allergic to doing what it takes to get eternal life in Jesus. Which is to obey God. In every way to word say. Adam lost connection to God. Adam had life from God to move and live and have a being. Adam had an eternal quality of life as an added provision. God had set up Adam to live forever on the condition of Adam's obedience. In Adam was all the human race. Romans 5 verses 12 to 21 in a quick scan says, When Adam sinned, death entered the entire human race. What a contrast between Adam and Jesus. As Adam's sin brought death, Jesus' righteousness took away sin's effect. Adam caused death, so others could see the sin problem was based on his fault to pass sin on to all in humanity. In Jesus we find restoration of eternal life. Before, sin ruled over all by death, now in Jesus we who were born under the death marks of Adam can find right standing with God and eternal life through Jesus. Jesus brings Alpha and Omega life through the provision of what was broken man and God. Jesus is the go-between binding man back to the Maker to get through the obstruction of Adam's sin. Sin broke the connection between man and God. Adam lost face-to-face -face interactions with the Maker and we were in Adam. His sin led to shame, and that shame led to a sham and that sham led to a separation that only one could restore. It was the Alpha and Omega of life through Jesus. Romans 6 verse 23 says, The wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. Jesus is the way in truth to life. John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus is the way, truth and life. Without Jesus as the way, there is no going to heaven, without the truth, there is no knowing of the way out of sin that Adam put us in, and without Jesus as the life, there is no living to see that Jesus is the Alpha and Omega of life. The Christology of Revelation is to see Jesus as the Alpha and Omega of life and being the first, the last, the author and finisher of life's journey safe with God in Jesus. Jesus Alpha and Omega Of Love Not only did life have a beginning in Jesus, love also marked Jesus as the one who started it. Love lifted us up out of a miry situation. Love is the stuff of God that started him out to find us who were lost. John 3 verse 16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have eternal life. This is the love text that spells all you ever needed to know about the love of God, but were afraid to ask. Please note the way the John 3 verse 16 text is broken down. To give hope to know how much God loves you. For, the purpose of love. God, the person of love. So, the degree of love. Loved, the act of love the world, the object of love. He gave, the proof of love. His, the possession of love. Only, the uniqueness of love. Begotten, the valve of love. Son, the gift of love. 
that whosoever, the scope of love, believes, the simplicity of love, in, the location of love, him, the attraction of love, shall not perish, the prevention of love, but, the contrast of love, have, the guarantee of love, everlasting, the duration of love, life, the quality of love. That sounded nice, think I will say it twice. John 3 verse 16. For, the purpose of love. God, the person of love. So, the degree of love. Loved, the act of love. The world, the object of love. He gave, the proof of love. His, the possession of love. Only, the uniqueness of love. Begotten, the valve of love. Son, the gift of love. That whosoever, the scope of love. Believes, the simplicity of love. In, the location of love. Him, the attraction of love. Shall not perish, the prevention of love. But, the contrast of love. Have, the guarantee of love. Everlasting, the duration of love. Life, the quality of love. If Jesus is left out of my preaching, there is. No manna from heaven. No water from the rock. No refuge from the storm. No healing for the sick. No life for the dead. If Jesus is left out of the gospel proclamation, it's the same as leaving the sun out of the day, the moon out of the night, the wet out of the water, and the joy out of laughter. Jesus' alpha and omega in love is like having a kiss with a hug, a floor with a rug, and a hand in a glove. Shout yes! Jesus the alpha and omega of light. Not only did life have its beginning in Jesus, and so did love, but lastly light also is marked by Jesus flashing light into the world to dispel spiritual darkness. It's a light that is from the beginning to the ending by he who is the alpha and omega of light. The true light in the world is Jesus, he's the shining light, he's the saving light, and mostly Jesus is the alpha and omega of all light. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2 says, Therefore, seeing that we have so great a cloud of witnesses around us to always refer to, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, to looking unto Jesus the Alpha and the Omega, who is the joy God set of himself to endure the cross in a shameful way that we may have life, love, and light in him who now sits at the right hand of God representing us who follow him. The devil doesn't want you to see Jesus as the light of this world. The light as Jesus shows the knowledge of his glory to save from sin by his blood that we may reign with him and not deny him. See 2 Timothy 2. 12. I would like to take this opportunity to give you a chance to connect with Jesus as the Alpha and Omega of life, love, and light. Only he is able to save to the utmost. Pray with me by saying, Lord, Jesus. I desire to accept you as Lord unto life. Come into my heart. I confess all my sins. I reach towards you in faith to put my sins under your blood. Give me the power to see the light, sense the love, and walk in the life of Jesus, the Alpha and Omega. Jesus, I now trust you to lead me from here to the hereafter. I now say an everlasting, yes to Jesus. Have faith in God. He's Alpha and Omega alone. Have faith in God. As Jesus, he came off his throne. Have faith in God. Accept Him now as your own. Let me close in prayer, Lord, bind this message to the hearts of those who have read this booklet, that they may say that everlasting, yes to Jesus, and be saved. Mark 16 verse 16 says, He that believes on the name Jesus and is baptized shall, be, saved, but he that believes not on the name Jesus shall, be, damned and lost. Now before I go I want you to notice that there are two B's in the Mark 16 verse 16 text. A B saved B and a be damned be. Question. Which, be, you be? Jesus is calling you out of the world to make you one of his own. We are called out of the world to live for him. Jesus. By Jesus' name. Isaiah 62 verse 12 says we were sought out. Psalm 40 verses 2 to 3 says we were brought out. Psalm 71 verse 6 says we were took out. Psalm 107 verse 3 says we were gathered out. John 10 verse 29 says, Once in a relationship with Jesus, nobody can pluck us out. 
I have preached Jesus as best as I know how in my own style under the unction of the Holy Spirit if you do not know Jesus. Now it's time to appeal to saints to straighten up and sinners to come clean or stay away dirty. Now I must stop here. I pray that you prayed with me. If you did there is a new name written down in glory. And that is your name. The blood of Jesus has slashed through your name to claim you in the family of God. God cannot see your wrongdoings through the blood of Jesus. The simple name. The strong name. The saving name. Jesus the supreme name. As I close please always remember that you don't have any problems. All you need is to have faith in God's wonder working. Power. Before we sign off I turn you to Sister Grace our Faith Clinic Fellowship Announcer. Here is Sister Grace. Hello podcast listener. I am Sister Grace the Faith Clinic Fellowship Podcast Announcer. I have some news that you can use on how you can help support the podcast outreach mission. We have a cash app that you that are will can send an offering of money support. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61. Your donation will leave your hand, but it will never leave your life. It will go into your future too to world a blessing in your favor is by the hand of God. Your offering is like a seed that will bloom into a harvest in your expectation. What do you expect from God? You are going to have to sow to grow it. Healing help, miracle money blessings. You can decree a thing and it shall be established to happen all because you decided to give a seed faith vow of ministry support. You can't buy a blessing but you can sow towards of God miracle harvest. John 3 verse 27 says God don't work nothing from heaven until something leaves the earth. John 3 verse 27 a man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. You can be given a blessing by a seed gift of support. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61. If you desire to rise up to the Rolex style of living, you are going to have to come off of the Timex way of giving. Make an uncommon vow of faith in money for an expected harvest. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. This is Sister Grace the Faith Clinic Fellowship announcer saying God is ready to bless all you that are ready to give. It won't take long to cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61 a pledge of support. It can be $1, $5, $10, $20, $50 or more. To cash app dollar sign T E R R Y B R U N S O N 61. You can give by a check or money order payable to Faith Clinic Fellowship. Mail your gift of support to 6254 North Beachwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19138 is the zip code. Faith is like a tea bag. It works best when it is in hot water. Keep your faith soaked in God's love from above.